Now, in order to tackle binge drinking, it's been suggested that patients should undergo alcohol screening tests when they visit their GP. Ten questions will be asked of them, a patient, including how often do you have uh, six drinks or more on one occasion, and how often have you had a feeling of guilt or remorse after drinking? <laughs> <laughs> Alex Dean, director of Big Brother Watch, which campaigns against intrusions into privacy and protecting people's liberties, says it's entirely inappropriate for a doctor to interrogate patients about how much they drink. It's none of their business, especially if a person is seeing them for something that's non-alcohol related. So, what do you think of this proposal? Does, does he have a point? Or is it fair game for doctors to be able to pull up a patient on anything that is health-related and could be costing the NHS? Well, exactly. And um, as you know, I'm, I'm married to the lovely Dr Peter, um, but I haven't spoken to him about this, so this right. is not from the horse's mouth. This is just for me. But I think it's a very, very good idea to do this and completely appropriate because alcohol is, after <coughs> all, a drug. I mean, we don't think of it perhaps like that because it's, it's socially acceptable, as is cigarette smoking, theoretically. Um, but these are both drugs, and doctors ask about your cigarette habits, and I think it does make sense to me to ask about your drinking habits because alcohol has a a, a big effect as we all know I mean that's why we drink it on on the rest of your system uh, but not necessarily a good effect uh, so it seems to me to make complete sense but what worries me is that how are they going to ask all these questions in the 10 minute but slot that they have to, to I find out one, what's the matter I think with you one should have a responsibility themselves you know I know when I go out uh, and have a night out with the girls wherever if I go on if I drink a little bit the next day you look 10 years older it has such an effect well, on you'd you think that'd stop you, know. you for a start well absolutely you know, but the point I'm also making is I know in the next couple of years I'd love to have a baby oh. and if you know if you if you are trying for a bit it can affect your fertility yes. so I think you've got to have a responsibility to yourself as well yes. to know that you know if you're wanting to achieve certain things and really you know there's just unhealthy levels isn't it yeah I mean I think it's a fair point Claire if a doctor's going to responsibly treat you he yeah. has to be aware if you're sat there saying well I'd like a baby soon and, and he's, he's fair game to question you about your lifestyle but Sherry I know you've spoken in the past on the show about the fact that you did battle the bottle for a while so, had you found yourself in the doctor's surgery and he'd said to you, look, Sherry, I need to, to ask you these ten questions, would you have been open to that? Would you have been honest in, res in response to his questions? Well, first of all, I do think it's a good idea. Those questions are a good idea. Uh, but years ago, when I was under a lot of stress in my marriage, I was, I did, um, I did drink heavily, um, but I was in denial. Like, I'd hide bottles in big washing soap. You know, washing boxes. Really? You know, the big box. Yes, or I'd hide. Drink indoors on your own. I, yeah, but I didn't believe I was. Oh, but I was, and because I just wanted to disappear, mm. and so that was the way of disappearing for me without anybody knowing. So, had I gone to the doctor and he'd he'd have asked me those questions, I'd have gone no. Because well, you say that, because though. I would have been total denial and would have thought, and also I would have been ashamed. And I would have been frightened to have said it. And I would have thought, I don't, I don't want anybody to know this. But it's a guilty secret, it's isn't it? It's a guilty it? secret, but it's confidential. It's your doctor. He's not going to tell it's anybody. that's not the point, you see. Your mind isn't confidential. In your mind, you've gone out, you've told the world. Yeah, but what but also if he prescribed you something for, for what he thought was wrong with you and if it had, had a bad reaction no, and you you'd got worse? You, How you would that doctor have felt? No, I'm that, speaking you, you don't as understand. A wife of one. The shame of it uh, is enough to... to to, to try and make yourself believe well, you they, actually don't do what it, they're hey, asking. The first thing you've got to do is admit it yourself. Yeah. Mm. But you yeah. may have found yourself... I mean, uh, uh, Leslie raised a really good point there. If he's prescribing drugs for one ailment and you're drinking and those, uh, that, that drink is going to work against that, then, then you're, you're compromising the doctor, I guess. Yeah. But you're right. An alcoholic is, is, is somebody who is burdened with the shame of their, their illness. And it is an illness. Do you, do you, you think... see, I wasn't an alcoholic, and that's where you get it wrong, you see. You've got to treat that differently. That's mm. something else. This is somebody who is drinking through stress, drinking too much, and, and that's a different help. Mm. And, you know, a, a, yes, a doctor can, but you need Sherry, more no, than no, that. No disrespect, but if you're hiding bottles in a, in a washing basket and stuff... Not anymore. No, 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 Yes, I know what you're saying, but I wasn't... I, I wasn't ever really drunk. I did it to... Um, to, to hide me, to get away from the situation, because mm -hmm. I didn't want to live mm. at all. You're in denial about and so that's what I was doing. I yeah. wasn't drinking because I liked alcohol. I think that's your line. And if you've got a doctor now that would say, I think it's a brilliant idea. If the, but you've got to be more than a doctor. You've got to be a therapist. Well, you've got a psychologist, And that's yeah. a very good point. OK, well, I'm glad to hear that you're not bashing the bottle. Oh, <laughs> <you're hey. laughs> not I'm quite like you used to anyway. There's been a few nights. Okay, if you're <laughs> splashing in the pool this summer.